So today I want to show you how I with uh, this animation here. So it's a moving windows, doors, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I think it's very nice and smooth animation. I want to show you, I don't want to waste your time. So let's get right started. I'm going to start with a brand new file here. And I'm going to turn on my screencast keys so you see something. I'm going to delete the camera and the light. We don't need this in this tutorial. I'm going to select the cube and go tap in edit mouse and press GZ, hold and control, move it up. GY, hold and control, move it to the side. GX, hold and control, move it to the side. And if you go back to edit mode, you see now the pivot point of my cube is exactly this edge. So if I, example, given scale, it scales from the edge. So this is what I want. So now I go to edit mode again and I say here, I select the side vertices here and say G, Y, 4. Then I select the top vertices here and I say G, Z, 9. And now we have uh, one part. And now I press shift D to double it. And then I say Y, 6. And now we have two. And now without pressing anything, because then it, else it won't work, shift R and you can repeat it. You see now you have very quick six parts here. Now we add the armature. So shift A armature single bone. And on the armature settings in viewport, viewport display, we enable names, any font and access. So you see everything very fine here. Now we rotate the armature rx minus 90 we go now we now press ctrl a and say apply rotation now we go in edit mode we select the uh, tail and say g y 5 now we have our first bone we select the bone and we say shift d y 6 we have a second bone and say shift r again or shift r trick which is very handy and very quick now we have six bones what we want to do now is press the first bone again shift d x five and this bone uh, we want to rename it as controller and we shift doubled it again and this one we want to call uh, mover. So we have a light control for this. So what we're going to do now, seven, we go in uh, top view. We select every second bone here. And we say G, X, minus two. And now you see they are perfectly aligned on the left side. And these are perfectly aligned on the right side. Now we uh, have to parent them, so we select these two and we say keep offset and this we repeat for every bone until uh, the root bone here. And we can also call this root so we know this is our first one. And what we do now is we go to post mode and we add here a bone constraint copy rotation and we want to copy the rotation from our controller so we say target armature controller and the same we want to have for every bone here so we select everything in post mode select at last the root again and then we go here in the post menu constraints and say copy constraint to selected bones so when we now rotate this, these rotate, that's what we want, it's perfect. Now we go in edit mode and we select here our door, window, whatever you want to call it. We shift select our armature, this bone, and we say parent to bone. So again, object mode, then shift select our armature, go in pose mode and parent it. And these repeat these steps for every wall. If you know a quicker way, please let me know 
uh, in the comments I don't know it's a bit tedious uh, but you have to do it so if you now parent all these uh, you can go select the controller and see now our wall is moving with us this is exactly what we want what we have to change now we select again all these and we hold uh, control key pressed and we say here uh, local space and again to the owner local space now everybody should have local space yes that's fine very good what we do now we select only the left sided and there we say invert uh, holding control key invert that so if you now are that the controller you see we get something uh, we are not completely there but we are very close as you can see what we want to do now is when we move the controller that just that that rotation uh, can be changed so we go here to mode xyz Euler, Euler and we lo lock the location so if you press here G now we cannot move it as you can see and rotation we just allow that rotation so if I press R here it now uh, just rotates that direction what I want and what I also want is I want to limit my rotation on the z-axis to 90 degrees I think let me see this looks not so good uh, maybe it is minus 90 G nope okay this is uh, zero here then maybe 90 here let's has to be minus 90 yes no it's not enough so it's minus 180 uh, that yes that looks good now what we have we have this issue that it's uh, everything is rotating to stop that we go here to the bond properties relations we hold down control key say don't inherit rotation and if you now move you see that it doesn't work because it didn't set it to all so I'm gonna change this manually looks like I hit the wrong key so let's do it again ah, that yes that's very nice now you see our uh, rotation is not good so we limit to minus 90 let's test that again yes now we have a perfect movement so now I don't like the rotation movement I like to move it that's why I have this mover here and then we do here again like before we say XYZ Euler we uh, lock the rotation and we just allow location movement I think it's Y so G and I can only move on Y that's perfect and now we say we go to the controller in post mode and we add another constraint and this is transformation if we choose armature and we choose mover then we say map from location 0 to 6 on y axis we map to rotation z and y and we say minus 90 here and if you see now we move the mover we can perfectly move our window door system and I think that's pretty nice. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something. Bye.